morning. Welcome back to BT. Uh, your drive this morning is starting off on an all right foot. And I say that because we are looking at some uh, rain. So, of course, we have slick conditions. And, of course, you have to drive according to those conditions. Uh, taking a look right now over at the southbound 410. And that actually seems to be moving very well out of Brampton all the way down to the 401. So not a bad drive right now on the southbound 410 at all. Southbound 427 also moving very well out of Woodbridge, both in the Express and Collectors heading down towards the Gardner. Uh, you will find it a little bit busy on the southbound 400 south of Highway 9. But moving through King Road, you'll find things moving just fine. And the drive towards these 401 ramps is uh, moving actually quite well. But it does bunch up a little bit as you approach the 401. Not sure if you can spot this here, but we have a minor issue over on the eastbound Gardner. You can see the emergency lights flashing there. This is the eastbound Gardner approaching Park Lawn or approaching the, the Lakeshore ramp to Park Lawn, where we do have the uh, shoulder there blocked with a stalled vehicle, it looks like. Not adding to the delays, but eastbound Gardner is slow from Park Lawn to east of the Humber Bridge. A mortgage with CIBC comes with expert advice and up to $3,000 cash back to help settle into your new place. Conditions apply. That's a look at what we have going on for your drive. A little bit busy, but it's Friday, so it's not bad. Let's look at your roads. Now, sending things downstairs to Frankie. Yeah, I got to take it in. It's Friday. Indeed, we have some wet roads out there. That rain will end in about the next hour. What you're also going to notice is winds, and the winds will pick up, and the direction of that wind will change. We're already seeing that in London right now, 30 kilometers per hour out of the west. We have more of a southerly flow here in Toronto at 20. Right now, we're not seeing any wind gusts here in Toronto. A wind gust of 56 currently over towards London, 63 into Windsor. You're going to see winds this afternoon, 40 to 70 kilometers per hour out of the west, and that's going to drag down that temperature. There's a look at your satellite system right now, already starting to see some of the showers break their way up at this current time. And as I mentioned, they roll out of here in the next hour. Then we'll clear up the skies tonight as that temperature falls to about 3 degrees this afternoon. Right now we're at sitting at 7, so it's a little higher than what we thought. We were at 6 earlier, but this afternoon, as I mentioned, that temperature will fall down to about 3 degrees, then to the freezing mark tonight. Tomorrow we bounce back up to 5 under clearing skies. Wind at, winds, that is, out of the northwest, 30 to 50. And then we're down to minus 9 on Saturday night, so it's a cold Saturday night. Sunshine, though, we'll give that a thumbs up into Sunday. And high, chilly at plus 1. Let's look at your next three days. Now it's on to your news. All right, a lot to cover when it comes to COVID-19, but here is a big one, a big development. Parents will be scrambling to figure out a plan for their kids over the next three weeks after the provincial government announcing the closure of all publicly funded schools for the next two weeks after March break, all in response to the pandemic. And especially come to the March break, if you choose to take your children with you, uh, when you come back, you're going to be asked to keep the children out of uh, public settings, uh, in the home setting in isolation uh, for the 14-day period and not introduce them especially into the school system or into the daycare system there until you complete that 14-day period. Ontario's Chief Medical Officer of Health making that announcement along with the Education Minister. Now, the province uh, finalizing a plan to ensure that learning continues while schools are closed until April the 5th. A lot more to discuss there. All right, so here's another angle to this story. And uh, Thursday night, apparently grocery stores were the hot spot. Our Tammy Sutherland standing by live at one 24-hour grocery store. Tammy, um, is now the time to go? And what are people getting? Good morning. Good morning. Now is the time to go because there is zero lineup in there right now. But I did go inside, spoke to some of the staff off camera. They say that the lineup was something that they have never seen before as of last night. And it lasted actually right up until 2 a.m. And that's because it's a 24 hour store here at the Metro at Front and Church downtown. When you go inside, it is a typical of what you've probably already seen out there when it comes to stock. No toilet paper. There were only two packages that were just put out on one of their store shelves or early this morning. And I saw someone walk out with both of those packages already. So there's zero toilet paper in the store itself. Other things that are gone, things like rice, pasta, pasta sauce, a lot of meat and fruit, bananas completely gone as well. And that is as people continue to stock up uh, with this fear that there may be some kind of mass quarantine and they want to have all that they can 
at home and stocked. We've spoken to some people who have gone into the store today. A couple of them saying that they purposely got up this early in the morning to come out here and try to stock up uh, while they can and try to avoid those lineups. The lineups that you see there, crazy last night at the No Frills at uh, Lansdowne and Dundas in Whitby at a No Frills, just massive lineup. Some people reporting waiting an hour to get to the cash itself. And the lineups to try to get into the door, this is No Frills at Lansdowne and Dundas. Uh, that is another lineup there that you have to wait. People with carts that are empty trying to just get into the grocery store. So you can expect a lot of that to possibly happen once again today. But of course, there is that uh, that sane, calm, cooler heads prevail. There is no need to panic. There is still food on the shelves. You can still come in and get what you need. It's just that uh, these stores are, of course, working on overtime, trying to restock those shelves. Mel, I'll show you some of what's inside there coming up a little bit later in the show. Okay, Tammy, you were the person that got the toilet paper, right? That was you? No, it wasn't me. I thought about it. I thought about it, but then I said, no, yeah. no, I'm not falling in that trap. No. no. Okay, Tammy, thank you. Talk to you shortly.